the explosion. James Thunder hails out of Las Vegas right now, originally out of New Zealand, 34 and 10, 27 knockouts. As we mentioned in our open, he's got more knockouts than Schufert has fights. And there's Schufert, though, the up and coming heavyweight. 14 and 1, he's got seven KOs. But the fact of the matter is, Jimmy Thunder, though, as many knockouts as he has, he has been stopped in his last three out of five fights. Therefore, what kind of an effect does that have on the strategy of Charles Schufert for tonight's fight? His thoughts yesterday. Oh, I just basically go out and work my jab and do my thing. If I get a punch in there, then I'll try to finish him. But I'm not going out there just trying to get it over with quick. I'm going out of there and work my jab and boxing. If I get a good punch in and it hurt him, I'm going to get him out. Well, brave words to the former sparring partner of James Thunder by Charles Schufert. And will he be able to employ it? We'll see that as the evening progresses. There's James Thunder, man from down under in New Zealand. And uh, having his gloves checked right now. And what his biggest problem has been over the last couple of years has been inactivity. He had that big win over Tim Witherspoon in, in April of 98, then had two years off. And really have problems tonight if he goes into the later rounds due to his inactivity. His thoughts as well. I don't mind I don't, if it goes to one, it goes to one, if it goes to ten, it goes to ten. I'm ready for 20, you know. I've been in Detroit for five weeks and, you know, training my butt out there and and I feel ready, you know. Like, you know, like I feel, I'm, I'm 34 and now I feel 24, you know. I feel 10 years younger, so I feel, I feel great. We'll see if it translates to the ring. They're even up on the weight, height advantage, and reach advantage, as you see for Schufer, three inches in both categories. But the big thing is the seven years in age, as Thunder mentioned, he's 34, says he feels like 24. And we're in Maryland tonight, the Crab Cake State. 10-point must system in effect, no standing eight count. Three knockdown rule, though, is in effect here. Saved by the bell only in the last round. The doctor can't stop the fight here. And should the heads come together, for more than halfway gone, well, then we're going to the cards. Otherwise, we've got ourselves a draw. As always, the more with more man with more information on the pugilists, our ring announcer, magnificent Mark Bureau, with the introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, Cedric Kushner Promotions in association with JTS Promotions Incorporated presents the heavyweight explosion main event of the evening, 10 rounds. Your referee from Landover, Maryland, Malik Walid. Introducing now the principals first in the red corner to my left, wearing the white trunks with the black trim. He weighs in at 237 pounds. His professional record, 34 victories, 10 defeats. He has 27 wins coming by way of knockout. He hails from Las Vegas, Nevada. Here is James Thunder. Thunder. His opponent in the blue corner, wearing the black trunks with the white trim. He also weighs in at 237 pounds. His professional record, 14 victories, one defeat, and seven wins coming by way of knockout. He also hails from Las Vegas. Here is Charles Schufert Jr. Schufert Jr. Ten rounds, heavyweights. Okay, fellas, listen up. I'm the third man in the ring, and I expect good, clean boxing. When I say break, I want you to stop punching, take a full step back. Remember, protect yourselves at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck to you both. Well, that was a very good introduction in, uh, for the rules from Malik Walid, one of the uh, better ones, I might add, that we've seen here on the explosion recently. Scheduled for 10. Thunder's history tells us, though, his fights don't last that long. John, he said he's going back to his rolling ways. He's not going to look to box Schubert. Well, Schubert's got to be on his P's and Q's very early here. 
you know what Thunder's strategy is. It isn't being any bones about it. Schubert, a very accomplished skill technician and a good puncher. He's a puncher, but he's only for a heavyweight. He's got a 500 knockout record. Prefers to you know, beat you with punches and punches. His last two fights both went the 10 round distance. The first one, Robert Davis giving him his first loss back in February. And then uh, going a 10 round uh, distance, beating Derek Banks on the explosion back in May out in Las Vegas. This is his fourth start of Y2K. Second start for Thunder, who has not fought since February in that disastrous loss to Monte Barrett, where he got stopped in seven rounds. How muscular Jimmy Thunder is. Interestingly enough, Thunder coming in today heavier than he was for the Barrett fight. Looks like muscle. in the first and nice little elbow thrown in there by Jimmy Thunder but it was the left hook that really got the attention look at the eyes bulging right in by Shuford after catching that left hook well he tasted Thunder's power and he's going to respect it I think he came into the fight realizing Jimmy Thunder's a terrific puncher everybody knows that in boxing Shuford came out lethargic in that first round as he bounces back with his father in his face in the second we approach the second round Round two, this is scheduled for 10. Jimmy Thunder looking to get things started a little quickly here, but there's going to be some housekeeping, I believe, in the corner of Shuford. Things a little wet there and uh, perhaps reviving him. I think that left hook near the end of the first round by Thunder did a lot more damage than you may have realized. That shot seemed to almost physically lift him up off the canvas a little bit. He's visibly jolting. 27 knockouts and 34 wins for Jimmy Thunder. This is a major step up tonight for Charles Schubert, former sparring partner for Thunder. So he knew what he was getting himself into. He just thought that he was so much improved. And he's going to be able to teach, to teach her something. So, thus far, he's having a very tough time at Schubert's got to get off those ropes. He does not want to be there. 
a very good skilled boxer, but we have not seen it. Got up for a combination on the inside. Shoves the shooter back the ropes and uh, Waleed warns him. The shooter has been unable to establish that jab from the outside. Now Ed's flashing. Referee again warning both fighters. Shooter seemed to be saying that was Thunder. Charging forward with his head down. And now Thunder gets a warning. Malik uh, Ali trying to keep control of this fight. Doesn't want things to get sloppy. Thunder fighting a typical Thunder style. Or what was the Thunder style at his heyday when he was really on the top of the heavyweight heat? Why doesn't Thunder uh, shoot for taking a step to the side? He's standing right in front of Jimmy Thunder. He's standing right in front of Watch the Thunder moves forward. Look at that. right there. He's trying to right hand lead. Too much trash talking right now by Charles Schubert. There's the bell. That's in the round two. Good shot of our near capacity crowd at the Teamsters Hall in Maryland tonight. As you had mentioned, John. Uh, Baltimore area is a real hotbed for boxing. It is a place where a lot of fighters live, a lot of trainers. Yeah. And the rope style, you know what I'm saying? And you gotta look to find him from there. So he's gonna punch himself out. Come from the area, of course, but you gotta Brown, find him more on the inside, Walker, you know what I mean? Uh, Step back Petway. and punch. You can't smack back when you got your back on the rope. So if you're on the yeah, rope, you gotta slide over. Spin and him, some guy move Ray him. And hit him, move him and hit him. Ray Leonard. Sounds familiar. I'll have to look it up when I get home. Well, Thunder telegraphed that left hook the way he came in, and there was a clash of heads, and you see Schufer looking at the referee for some help. Didn't really get one. Round three, this is scheduled for 10. No knockdowns thus far in the fight. Jimmy Thunder in white, Charles Schufer in black. It's been all Thunder for the first two rounds. Schufer very tentative. His normally excellent jab non existent here. Barney, it looks like he's almost wants to counter punch with Thunder. He's inviting Thunder to walk to him. He's trying to whack him with the left hook on the inside. Now, do you think good uppercut there by a spawning partner for Thunder that he feels the only way he can prove that he's the better fighter now is by slugging as opposed to outboxing? Oh, he could have fallen into that trap. I'll tell you what, Thunder on the inside is tearing him up. Twice he's joled him with uppercuts here in the third round. It's very possible that he's falling into a macho thing. I'm going to show this guy. I'm not the fighter he really was in Sparta. Because all he would have to do is watch the Monty Barrett tape and see the jabs. I, I, I'm befuddled by what Charles Schuster Shooter is trying to do in that style. Big guy, punch himself out a little 
action from round three. And perfect timing of the miss there. Catches a two-punch combination. Jab to him. I'm using my face before I jab sometimes. Thunder. W jabs up, you can find him. You understand me? That's when you jab him. But keep doing what you're doing. You understand me? You'll find a target. You understand me? He's getting tired. You know it, don't you? Second out. Second Stop round four. Keep an eye on the right eye of Jimmy Thunder. Slight cut and they're screaming at him in the corner. You're getting cut because you're butting heads. You're not slipping punches. He's dropping his hands too in a shooter's corner. You heard Daddy tell his son, keep doing what you're doing on the inside. The timing's getting down. And Thunder's getting tired. But he did slow down in that third round. And Schufer was able to make him pay for that nice, crisp counter punch on the inside.
looks like he's looking at parts of the entire city. Yeah, I saw him on the school between rounds. He looks like more gas than he should be for four rounds. It does not look like he has a lot of snap and zip. Only in his parts. for trying to triple up on that left hook and he got caught nap and dropped his right hand and ate a big left hook from Jimmy Thunder for all of his effort. You pivot, you heard me, and you got him. In the corner, Charles Schubert, Don't let him out hustle you in there, you heard me. You know you in shape, there. baby. You gonna smell it, but you in shape. He's tired me, he's falling. He's falling all around the place. He's falling everywhere. He's falling, he's ready to go. If you, if you pick up and hit him fresh and clean, go to right hand. Well, we start the second half of the scheduled set rounder, and the opening of every round pretty much the same. Schubert slow coming out of his corner and thunder all the way across the ring in his face before he has a chance to even get set up. I get the sense listening to Schubert's corner that they're trying to actually build him up psychologically. Like, hey, the other guy's getting tired, but they're saying, you know, like either their guy's tired or he's having a problem. They're trying to say, hey, come on, stay with it. He's more tired than you.
Schubert. I don't, I'm going to give it to Schubert. I don't think it was already. Because he covered up one of the two. We're going to try to see it on the replay. Exactly what happened here. It was the right hand. It was the left hand. Ah, left hand looked like the thumb got right in the eye of Schubert. And Jimmy Thunder should have known better. He just stopped in his tracks. He should have jumped on Charles Schubert at that point. It looked like the thumb, although Thunder touching his head after was not seeing the head come together. That was no, there was the, no, no, there was no one. Our, South American broadcaster Juan Morena pointing to the thumb right now as well. Definitely it was the thumb going in Come on the now. right eye. So Charles Schubert, we see the doctors are in the ring right now looking at that eye. Doctor cannot stop the fight here at Mary. Seventh round, and let's see if that eye is cleared up on Charles Schubert. It's the right eye. Coming near the end of the round, which was at that point the best round of the fight. I would say for Charles Schubert. Perhaps not enough to be able to make him lose the round, but the question is, has that eye cleared up? I've got the fight even after six. A very close fight. I've got it.
Towards the eighth round of the scheduled ten rounder, no knockdowns in the fight. Of course, that's Jimmy Thunder in the white shorts, Charles Stewart in the black. Things really shifting in since the fifth round. George Charles Schubert. I've got this a one point fight. I still have Thunder up by point, but you've got Schubert up by point, don't you? Until the bell rang. Dozens of unanswered punches went on for that 60 seconds. And there's when the bell rang. That was not the stoppage of the fight. The stop the fight was stopped voluntarily by Thunder. And uh, see them working on that eye, which plagued him from the third round on. They could not stop the bleeding, and they certainly didn't get the swelling under control. And he was pawing at it all fight. We're gonna get to show listen. Time and round of the stoppage from our ring announcer, Mark Biro. Ladies and gentlemen, the red corner has retired at the end of round eight. Therefore, the winner by tactical knockout, Charles Schubert Jr. Schubert Jr. I'm the man. I'm All right, Charles Schubert. 
Josh Allen knows he's the man, and tonight he is. He'll improve to 15 and 1. This is eighth win by Jimmy Thunder. He's going to drop down to 34 and 11. And things looking very tough for him. That's his second straight stoppage loss. And that's I'm very four out of six that, that, that stoppages stop in his last it, it, I can't tell you in this six game, bouts. You see the doctor in the ring with him right now. I care about his fighter. You hear me? That, that impresses me. And the doctor cares about the compassion in the corner and the fact that they were smart enough to stop that fight and not send Thunder out there to take another pounding like he did at the end of the eighth. But we're going to find out how Charles Shuford saw the fight from start to finish. He's with our John Saracino. Charles, you got rocked in the second round, but you hung in there. You stuck to your game plan, which was to stay in close, counter punch, not use the jab. As good as skilled blockers you are tonight, you chose to stay on the inside. What was the strategy about, and why did you go that way? Well, I wanted to use the jab, but when I got in there, I didn't come off like I wanted to, so I had to doubt and go to other things. But I can fight anywhere in the ring, you know, so if one thing ain't working, I go to another one. And that was a pretty good shot he hit you with. Any effect? Uh, I felt him a couple of times, you know what I'm saying? But I wasn't going to lose this fight. I couldn't lose it. I'm better than he is, and I can't let nobody that I'm better than beat me. Now, it also looked like you got thumbed in the sixth round. What happened there? Yeah, he hit me, hit me in the eye pretty good. I couldn't see for the rest of that round and part of the next round. But that happens to me in the gym, and boy, it stumped me. And I'm pretty much used to it, so I, I got to work. I learned how to work from it. Yeah, the one interesting thing we know is the ringside, probably because of your dad, Mr. Shuford, is you have a lot of composure in the ring. You can tell that you're a professional. You don't get flustered when a guy rushes you. And you Something your dad taught you at an early age? All right, ever since I first started boxing, I always could move. And moving guys always came at me. So ever since I've been boxing, I've been used to moving and protecting myself. So it sounds like automatic to me. Uh, at the end of the fight, you had him. Badly. He was on the ropes. He was basically defenseless. Did you think you were going to be able to stop him? And when you were you surprised that Malik Willie didn't stop the fight at that point? Oh, yeah, I was surprised because I was hitting him with good shots, but I was just going to keep on hitting him until the ref stopped. I had him going, so I just keep hitting him. I thought the ref should have jumped in because he was getting hit with good shots and hands was coming down and down and down.